Welcome to the video tutorial on how to register for courses using WebAdvisor. The first step is you need to find the WebAdvisor section within the portal landing page. Notice the WebAdvisor tutorials which contain various helpful guides. Next step is click on WebAdvisor tab. Take a moment to see what menu options are available to you. To register for courses, click on the registration menu. Next, click on register for sections. Click on search and register for sections. In the term drop down menu, select which semester you wish to register for courses. In this case, I'm going to choose fall. And then I can select which subjects I'm interested in registering. Course level, I'm going to choose undergraduate. And if you know the course number, you can type the course number in directly. In the days of the week section, choose which days of the week you wish to take courses. In the location area, you can select online if you're only interested in taking online courses. For now, I'm going to leave that blank. Additionally, you are able to search or enter a professor's last name if you're only interested in that professor's courses. So based on my search criteria, I have selected the fall semester and I'm looking for computer science courses and also English courses with the 101 course number and I also want only Monday and Wednesday courses and the location is on campus and also online. I'm going to click submit and the results are this. Notice the select column which allows you to check a box you would check the box for courses that you want to add to your preferred section or your wish list. So for instance, if I wanted this class, I would check the box. And then I'll, I'll continue to search. Okay, I can check another box if I wanted that class. But for this example, I'm just going to choose one class and click Submit. Okay, now I'm in my preferred sections area, which is equivalent to a wish list or a shopping cart, which means that my registration is not completely finished or I have yet registered for these courses. The next step is under the action tab, I would choose register, remove from list or wait list. Now waitlist is important if the class is full. As you can see, there's 10 seats available for this one and 24 seats total. So I'm going to click register for this one. And, and if I had uh, courses registered in this area, my current registrations, I can actually check this box to drop the course here. So I'm going to click Submit to add this course or to register for this course, Computer Science 10109. So Submit. According to this page, I have registered successfully for CS10109. And the next step would be to make my payments. A video on how to make payments can be found in the portal 
video gallery. This ends the video on how to register for courses using WebAdvisor. Thank you very much.